Hi guys, uh, just a quick video here, as I've been recently trying to coach Dan in a few redstone mechanisms I've learned, and we thought, hell, why don't I make a video? So, uh, here I am, on a flat world. Um, I'm going to show you the basis of what I base pretty much anything I make with redstone on. Um, I'm in no way a pro um, at redstone, so I won't be coaching you on how to make coded piston doors or computers, um, but I can basically show um, how I make basic creations. Um, things that will, you know, uh, make your builds a bit, bit more fun. So, um, and I think a good place to start would be uh, remaking Dan's toilet from the epic Minecraft project that we've got. Because um, he had a lot of trouble with this um, when he was making it. I'm not going to be very pretty. Um, in any case, um, let's just make a hole there so you know when you've fallen through. Um, right. So our uh, oops, where's that piston? Okay, I can put it there actually. Okay, so what we have to do is this has to always be powered on, obviously. So it's just a case of putting a redstone torch under it to power it on. So that way, a redstone torch will always give a charge, and you won't have to worry about it um, turning off, obviously. And then we just need to put redstone one block below um, the redstone torch. And then we have to place a switch on the side. So if I just uh, move that along there. Um, actually, let's make it come up a bit. Oops. And uh, I should be able to put a block on there and a button and that should open it up and close it so then there you go you fall through and it's dark um, but yeah that's basically the mechanism that he was looking for um, so it's nothing sim it's nothing too too hard uh, I think he was having a problem because he put the button a bit too close to the piston um, that's that's like the first thing I guess I could show you, mainly for Dan. Um, but uh, I'm also going to show you one of the main things I use on practically any of the bigger sort of redstone things I make. Now I don't really have any set designs for anything that I make in redstone, I just sort of blag it I guess. Um, this is what is called an, an inverter. Um, this is great for um, um is that working? Oops. Yeah, it will work. This is great for uh changing the the charge of a redstone torch or a or a redstone line. Um it's great for for inverting that line to be the opposite. So if you've got an, a good mechanism working, like for instance you want to open a door but your mechanism has the door always opening or something and uh, you can't find a way to get rid of um, part of your mechanism to make it to make it change um, then you can just add uh, an inverter somewhere in there now to add an inverter you just put a block with a torch on the side redstone on top and that's it pretty much put a button on the end and it will change the polarity because usually this would if obviously if that wasn't there this would just be closed and then open then close but then you can change it around by placing obviously your torch on there now it's always open and you press it and it will close so yeah that's basically what I use in pretty much anything I make um, pretty much all you need to know about redstone is this <laughs> um, in fact, you could probably, you, I think he could have even used it on the, he could have possibly used it on his, it would have been an overcomplicated version of this toilet thing, um, but he could have possibly used it, I think. Um, I can't quite remember now um, what he actually did. Um, but yeah, I guess I can show you one small thing. Now, piston doors. I, th I can't remember where I learnt this piston door. Um, Exactly, but it's the one which I, it's the basic piston door that I pretty much use. Let's just make it light again. 
Um, where's my bed? There we are. I'll lay a bed down. I don't like it being dark. There we go. Okay. And if I just lay these pistons down. Now, this can be a three by, well, two, I guess, piston door. Um, it's very simple. One block in the middle. Leave a block. Put a block down there. You want to put redstone on everything. Redstone on top and underneath. And then underneath this, you want to put a redstone torch to keep it powered. This is like the first thing I ever made on with redstone. <laughs> um, I was, so, I was so like pleased with myself after I made this. I'm, I'm not quite sure why. It's pretty simple. Um, it's just, there we go. And it's the same idea. You can turn off uh, redstone torches uh, by having redstone coming up one block below. So redstone torch always one above. Um, and if you want, if we want, we'll probably want this um, powered by. Um, you probably want this powered by um, what's it called? Pressure plates. Pressure plates. So if I just put some, it doesn't, oh, I can't put one there because if you put, I'll, I'll talk down a minute. I'll just put this down in a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. The reason I can't put a block here is because it will block this um, charge. Um, the redstone won't actually reach that point. If I put a block there, I believe. Um, if I just put some... I'll just quickly get a pressure plate somewhere. Where are they? There they are. Let's use a wooden one. Well, that's working. If I, put a, if I put a block there, it does work. Never mind. Oh, okay. Maybe it, maybe it can still power it on then. Yeah, it works. Never mind then. Never mind. I would assume, yeah, I would have assumed it wouldn't have worked um, due to the, like for instance, if I was to put a block there, one up there, if I was to put a block there, it would stop the, um, the redstone, you see. That's as well why I thought it wouldn't have worked, but I guess it does for redstone torches. Um, Actually, I, might, I, can, I can try it now, actually. Why not? Seems to... Where's the block? There we go. And then if I just put... It turns off the red stone torch. Oh, so it does work. Never mind, then. Never mind about that. I didn't quite know that, but it works. So yeah, very simple door. On, off. Now, you can put two pressure plates here, and it will still power it either way. Um, and it will also power on the other side as well. If I get some uh, blocks there and power it from below, basically like that. Um, the way it works, this powers this. This then will link onto this here, and then turn off the doors just the same. It's all quite simple, really. I mean. It depends, I mean, you just keep building up small things like this and eventually you can make bigger things. Um, I think the biggest thing I've made is a very inefficient 4x4 four four door. Um, I think, yeah, a very, very inefficient 4x4 four four door. Um, that's like the biggest thing I've made and it's very inefficient. There's loads of redstone going everywhere and, oh dear. Um, I think that's the biggest thing I've ever made. Um, I might show that sometime. I might try and make it a bit more efficient, but I guess that's all I'm going to do for this little video. Um, it's a very basic video. This is basically the main thing that you need to know. Um, the inverter. Um, you can pretty much do anything with that. Because um, I find that, you know, it's quite straightforward linking things up. Um, but there's always a problem. One thing will be on when you don't want it to be on. 
and uh, that can easily be fixed with an inverter. So um, I guess that's all for now. Um, I'll probably do a couple more of these, something a bit more a bit more advanced after this. This is basically for people that know absolutely nothing, um, and it's so you can you know make make it cool cool things, a few cool things for your for your builds. Um, but I mean, like like the toilet that Dan made. This is a very crude toilet. Um, but I mean, you can make very simple mechanisms, but they do very cool things and make you know add quite a lot of. Um, depth I guess you could say to your creations um, that's all for now I'll see you later